So I actually already passed 2,000 videos a while ago because I don't count any live stream videos in my counting system, but welcome to video 2,000. Here we are, and it's a special occasion. So I went to the store. I wanted to get a little something to drink before this episode, and found this. I thought this would be pretty appropriate. This would be a special Gundam 40th Anniversary packaging edition here of some Hot Six. It's a Korean energy drink. Actually, I don't think I've ever had it before. I don't like energy drinks at all. I just wanted to try it because it had a Gundam on it and it seemed appropriate. So let's try this here first before we get going. <laughs> ah, yeah. And it tastes like Red Bull or anything else, I guess. I don't know, if you're like an energy drink aficionado, you might be able to taste the difference, but it just all tastes the same to me. So I wanted to do something fun and interesting for this video, and I was really thinking about ideas for a long time, and so I gotta give thanks to my good buddy Tim at the Child of Mecca for suggesting this idea to take a look back. It's the 2000s video, so why not go all the way back five years ago and look at some of the first videos that I had out on my channel. Um, I'm not sure how funny it's gonna really be, because I think they're just gonna be more boring than anything. It'll be interesting just to see what the old videos were like. I know they're pretty much just awkward. I just wasn't used to making videos for YouTube, and especially the ones where I'm in front of the camera, I wasn't used to being just recording myself in front of the camera like that. <laughs> I'd actually already been making videos for a couple years before that on a different channel, but they were just like kind of like travel vlog videos without like any actual vlogging. It was just like video around, so it was pretty much just like silent for the most part, like without talking. I mean, so that was like of just traveling around different places here in Korea and Japan and then just put, like putting music over it, so just kind of like uh, travel videos of stuff so I've been doing that but starting actually talking on camera and you know like you're in a room just talking to yourself basically basically it's weird and especially when you're in front of the camera you're looking at no one and just talking it's kind of weird to get used to at first so yeah let's take a look at my videos here and uh, sort by oldest date added oldest here we are five years ago look at this <laughs> look at this little guy there, five years ago. Let's take a look at the channel introduction. First of all, that uh, 11 minutes for an introduction, yeah, one thing that I've definitely been known for over the years is longer videos, and uh, 11 minutes of just me talking about it. I guess I did do like a kind of desk tour, sort of as well, didn't I? But uh, alright, let's, let's get a look at this here. And then that text, I mean, if you guys saw my, uh, my previous channel, like I said, I've been making videos for a couple years. This like text page at the at the start is exactly what I was doing on my older channel pretty much. So I didn't even have any like fresh idea for my new channel that I was starting. I was just doing the same kind of uh, just like text at the start of the video just to like say like the title of the video at the start of there. So yeah, channel introduction plus workspace. Maybe I should have put workspace in the video title. That would have been a good idea. People might have been interested to see that. <clears throat> okay. Hello everyone. Oh, why? Why did I put sit sit down, do a pose, and then it's a fade cut to the next shot? Like, why not just cut out that first part? It's so it looks so stupid just to like have the first couple seconds of video where I'm just sitting down, and then it's already a fade cut into a different cut. I'm sure I just wanted to have that moment, you know, where you're just sitting down, where you're not in the shot, and then you're coming into the shot. I wanted to include that in there for some reason. Um. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be my first upload and I just wanted to make my first video just kind of an introduction just about what I'm going to do with the channel and I sound like so timid just I'm just like yeah you can just really tell how uncomfortable I am speaking to the camera just because I'm speaking like really quietly or something like really slowly even slower than usual I'm a pretty slow talker in general but also, notice how little clutter there is around everywhere. There's the one kid on my desk that I'm working on, a couple of figures up on the shelf, a photograph, some tools all, all here ready to use, and just overall very clean. Now I think this, as far as I can remember, this was recorded pretty soon after I moved into this apartment, so I, it's not like I had been in that apartment for a long time, so it wasn't like really super lived in at this point. Anyway, uh, my name is Zach, and on in the Gunpla community, I go by Zako Aurelius. So yeah. Not sure what that cut was, why I stopped after saying what my name is. 
what I'm guessing, I don't remember, but I'm guessing that maybe I explained about my name at that time, but then later in editing I thought it sounded stupid, so I cut it out, so that's why there's like kind of like abrupt cut when I get done saying like, in the Gumpla community I go by Zaku Aurelius. And then it's like cut really kind of abruptly, really strangely, like uh, there was something I was saying right after that that I had to cut it right away. That does still happen pretty regularly. I'll, in recording a video, anything, or review or unboxing anything, sometimes I just go off on a tangent and I'm talking about something, but then later in editing, I'm hearing it back, I'm like, that's just really stupid and totally unrelated or just whatever, for whatever reason, it, and I cut out like minutes of conversation and me just talking off on a tangent or something. It's just not something that I think you guys are going to want to hear about. Why am I making videos? Um, I really don't like to hear my voice or especially even see my face on video, so it's going to be kind of hard to get used to. Well, I gotta say, like, yeah, hearing my voice is, is pretty grueling for this. I mean, I really wasn't, like, talking well at that time to the camera, but in hindsight, you know, I, I did look a lot better then. I mean, this is me five years younger and a lot thinner, so I mean, I was looking better then than I do now. So, I mean, seeing my face on camera, you know, seeing my old face on camera, I'm kind of okay with it. It's alright. I'm gonna do my best just because I'm trying to be more active in the Gumpla community. I've been making models for, I guess, like 10 years now, but off and on. I'm just gonna skip through a bunch of this, but I mean, if more people had watched this, I would probably get like 50% less questions in any other question or question answer that I did later on because even still today, a lot of the questions that people ask me about how long I've been doing Gunpla, what, how I got into Gunpla, I mean, a lot of that's kind of answered in this first video, but although you have to sit through this first video, it might be kind of hard to do. There's a lot of really um, good reviewers out there already making videos, I think, so I also kind of thought, what do I have to offer? Uh, because there's reviewers like, uh, Robert 184, Prime 92, uh, Vegeta 8259 are probably the most well-known ones, and even more, um, Meads, the Gunpla Meister, uh, Justinius Builds, um, and I'm a lot more. Anyway, look at me name dropping some of the big names there. Robert 184 and Vegeta 8259 both like quit YouTube right around this time, and the Prime 92, of course, is. Is still going but uh, luckily Henry has come back to YouTube to, and he's still making videos now so that's good but you know I had to start out even from the first video shouting out some of the basically the videos that I was going to be standing on the shoulders of for the most part because you know there was nothing really that I was doing for a while in my videos that you know was really too revolutionary I was basically just doing like the same thing that, that they were doing I know that in my backlog at the moment I have a lot of uh, exclusive kits exclusive or like um, knockoff or redesigns I have a handful of those and um, kind of a lot of maybe older kits maybe rare kind of rare kits so I thought you know there's probably not videos for a lot of the kits that I have so it would be good to to make those so. you know I gotta give a lot of credit to anyone who like watched this video back in the day or anyone who's watched it even since then it's, 4,000 plus views, man, th if this has got to be like the exact opposite of whatever is a proper demonstration of like charismatic and uh, confident speaking, this is the, the farthest thing from that by any means. I'm probably not going to do a whole lot of talk about articulation in my reviews because usually when I'm watching reviews, it's usually the part that I skip. I think a lot of people might agree. Yeah, that lasted for a little while, but not for too long, because uh, apparently a lot of people do like to see articulation, and you know, I still kind of feel like this, that I really don't care about covering articulation. I do it because I know other people want to see that, and I figure for those people who don't want to see it, most reviewers do cover articulation, so I think everyone's just kind of used to it, even if it's not something that you're interested in seeing, 
you kind of know, okay, here comes the articulation section, you can just skip a couple minutes ahead basically, which is what I do, even still today. Uh, I usually don't watch a whole lot of Gumpler reviews because I'm usually just making them, but uh, when I do, and when the articulation section comes up, I just skip past it, and so, yeah, I just couldn't really uh, stick to that original goal for very long with just uh, the feedback that I got from you guys. I can't really imagine that I'm ever going to build a kit that I wouldn't recommend, you know, because, I mean, every kit might be good for someone. Well, five years on, and, and my thoughts haven't really changed about this either. I still feel like, and you guys, if you watch a lot of my reviews, you probably get the idea that I don't really ever give, even if the kit's really bad, for the most part, I don't really like ever discourage people from buying kits. I never really trash kits, even if it's something as trash as the HG Tristan. Like, I still wanted to be able to find a way to show that it's not totally worthless. So, this thinking that I had back then at the start of my channel uh, has persisted as well. So, I hope you guys appreciate that positivity. I guess kind of the last thing I wanted to say in this video is just kind of show my desk a little bit, kind of my workspace, so I'll get behind the camera and kind of show you what I do here. I'm just skipping, I'm just gonna skip past the whole desk bit because just watching through some of that, I mean, this is really just like, if you wanted to see what my desk space looked like at that time, I mean, but there's... There's not a whole lot for me to comment on now at this point, I mean, it was just a bunch of stuff in my desk, but if you see something that you'd like to see built or finished you know, sooner than later, just let me know in a comment. Uh, if you want to see more videos, uh, just you can subscribe. This bit here at the end of me saying that if you want to see more videos, you can subscribe, I think that's like one of the, one of the very few, if not maybe the only time that I've even sort of suggested to subscribe to people. If you have noticed, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I don't ever say that in my videos. Hey, subscribe to my channel for more videos. And even in this one, I think it's like only like half a suggestion even. Uh, so it's just kind of funny that I've always thought in my mind that like, I don't think I've ever said any videos. Actually, I did say it kind of in the first video. So that's kind of interesting. But yeah, I definitely didn't say it a whole lot too much. Did I say it in any of the, in the first couple of reviews? Let's move on to the second video on my channel, which was a review. Here we have a review of the uh, clear HG Banshee in Unicorn mode. Uh, it was a pretty cool kit, honestly, but... Hello everyone, this is going to be my first review on this channel, and it's going to be of my HG UC Unicorn Gundam Zero Two Banshee Unicorn Mode uh, Dark Clear Version. That's kind of a lot to say, and oh, it's so cringy. But you know, looking at uh, like over time, when I've seen other channels, pretty much any every channel that I've seen, Gumpler reviewing channel starts out like this. So you know, like at at the start, and that's how you can tell like when a channel's really new. They all sound like this at the start, including me. When I sound like this, they're like, uh, this is the HG clear Benchy like I'm having to really think about everything that I'm saying. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, this is the version that was released as an online exclusive, not the original version that came out with the release of episode 5. Maybe someone's probably going to correct me on that, but I think that's right. And you can hear that zzzz humming in the background because I think I don't I think at that time I wasn't using any mic I was just using the built-in camera microphone which I was using a DSLR which is a good camera but it's not really meant for audio with just the built-in mic and but that's how I did it for a long time it was a really long time until I actually started using a microphone because you know most of the time I'm right next to the camera so the sound is usually fine but in this one I don't know why and maybe maybe it was like this for a long time. I didn't really notice, but at least in this video, it's just funny. It's even got that like that signature. I'm very new at this. this is going on like in the background with the sound. Go away. All right, now that that's done, a real man's drink. This is a 740 milliliter 
giant can of Cass Korean beer. It's a not good beer by any means, but it's comically large. That's why I got it. I always look weird in the videos, and if, if you ever see any video, oh god, oh it's really bad. In any of the videos where I like start off the video where I crack a beer, whatever, and then I usually I like I'll drink the first drink, but I always cut that part out of the video because whenever when I'm drinking I look so stupid. I <laughs> like I'll I'll show you how I drink, and you can see. I just look stupid. It's like where am I looking? What am I doing? Like, and if I close my eyes. This is really super bad though. Oh god, I don't even want to take another drink. If I close my eyes, it looks weird too. Oh god. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, really bad. Ah. Like, this cast Korean beer is not good under any circumstances like the only time i'll ever have it is at a restaurant because a lot of times at korean restaurants they don't really have any choices like this or like another brand of korean beer which is like exactly the same under a different name Ugh, out of here with that just gross basically first thing i'll say is that uh <laughs> it's pretty solid <sighs> i'm kind of done with this idea already to be honest it's just boring I don't know how my channel ever got to be popular at all. These old videos are just so boring, and I think I like over time got slightly less boring. Uh, but man, for those of you guys who like watched my channel in the very early days, uh, I'll give you a virtual pat on the back because wow, you had a lot of patience. Because I think at that time, all YouTube also didn't have the option to uh, change the playback speed, so. If you guys ever want to watch any of my really old videos, watch them at 1.5 speed, or maybe bump it up to 1.75, but anyway. It seems like at that speed, it's still kind of boring, but it's a little bit more normal anyway, so normal sounding. I'm also just so disappointed with this gross, nasty thing that, uh, let's just wrap up this video by me saying to you guys a big thank you for those of you who have somehow stuck with my channel or even if you're new to the channel, found it enjoyable enough to watch and uh, yeah, I don't know. For, and for those of you guys who watched from the beginning, really big thanks to you guys for sticking with me for five years now that I've been doing this and just coming up on 100,000 subscribers. So it's all been a pretty interesting road, you know, this uh, over the course of the five years that I've been doing this aside from just the channel growth. Uh, I've had a handful of different sponsors and people uh, like businesses who have come to me and I've traveled f like for this channel like as like work kind of travel for been to the Philippines and I've been to Japan a bunch of times uh, making stuff for this channel so it's pretty crazy that that all came from this crap <laughs> what I was starting off with but you know you gotta start off somewhere and I guess even though it was pretty boring to listen to I guess the one thing that I had going for me at the time was that like the video quality was pretty good I guess uh, and the sound was okay better than some other options at the time but uh, I mean if any of you guys are wanting to get into like making your own Gunpla YouTube channel, or even if you already have one, uh, man, one of the best things, uh, points of advice that I could give you guys, and I am planning on doing this as like a whole other video later, I think I want to do like a tips for making a Gunpla YouTube channel later on, but uh, one thing that I'll just say now is uh, just persistence, just uh, stick with it, <laughs> that's what I did, and uh, it worked out, even though these videos I think were probably not very fun to watch, but I just kept on making them until people watched, I guess. So there you go. We're 2,000 videos in and uh, no plans to stop anytime soon. I still enjoy it as much as I did, if not probably more than I did then. I mean, then I was kind of enjoying just like putting out some videos. It wasn't like a big thing, but now like I really do enjoy making videos quite a lot. It's a big part of the hobby for me. Like now, if I just quit making videos and I was just only doing the modeling stuff, like that would be fun too. But I really do enjoy 
making videos and just sharing them with you guys all as well too. So that's a really big and important and enjoyable part of this, of this hobby for me too now. You know, I've said this many times and I'll, I'll say it again, if I could do this full time and just make stuff and make content like all day long, man, I would love to do that. If you guys think that my like output rate right now is high, if I could do this as like a real 9 to 5 job, it'd be like 10 videos a day and blogs and all sorts of stuff, obviously that's an exaggeration, but if you take a look at my uh, like the number of days since uh, my, my first upload is actually less than 2,000, so I've actually been doing this for less than 2,000 days, but over 2,000 videos, so it's an average of more than one video per day. Now, obviously, they're not blockbuster videos. They're not all must-see videos by any means. There's a lot of, you know, just simple stuff in there a lot, but uh, I really have put out a lot of videos, so... Uh, but yeah, like I said, and that's actually while I've been working a full-time job the whole time, and I, I mean, from now, from then to now, I got married, I had two kids, and then still, you know, I still really love what I do, and still trying to just put out as much content as possible. You know, these days, it's ever increasingly hard, the time constraints is, uh, you know, harder and harder as you, your responsibilities grow, of course. I'm still just, uh, you know, hopeful and, you know, looking forward to the day I hope when I could possibly do this full time and there's just a lot of stuff that I would like to share with you guys a lot more kind of stuff that I would like to do uh, that you know it's just a matter of time but everyone deals with that I'm not I, and I don't want to seem like I'm the only one who has to deal with having no time everyone deals with that you guys all know what I'm talking about so I've enjoyed making 2,000 videos for you guys and I hope that you've enjoyed them for the most part. I know a lot of them have been kind of boring, but thank you so much for sticking with me and my channel. It really means a lot. And, you know, thank you to all my friends in the community who I've gotten close with over the years, uh, my wonderful sponsors and friends at USA Gundam Store. They're great. As well as, of course, my Patreon supporters. I can't forget them as well. The people who took that extra step to want to support me in that way as well. I never do enough for them, but uh, they always have my special thanks as well. So thank you guys all so much, those of you guys who are my Patreon supporters. With that, guys, like I said, I've got a lot of stuff planned. I really should like keep a notebook or something of my ideas, but they're all up here and it would be probably a lot easier to think about other stuff if I get the ideas out to somewhere else and then I don't have to just keep them up in my head, but there's a lot of stuff that I'm working on and planning on working on, so just stay tuned for more videos in the future and forever until the day that I die, I'll be making videos. We'll see you guys at 5,000 videos. Bye-bye.